Hey all, it's Matt with Bobcat Bonsai here. Today we are going to be repotting some of our Brazilian rosewoods that we grew from a seed. We're going to put them into their temporary bonsai training pots to get them ready to keep growing and it should give us a little while until we have to repot them again. All right, let's get to it. All right, so as you can see, there's six slots and there's two trees so obviously I did not do so great here um, the trees definitely are a little bit dry so they are anticipating this repot as much as I am here so let's go ahead and get these little guys out we'll start with this far back one I like to use these clear planters when I'm growing from seed because it gives me a chance to see where the roots are at inside there I actually use them for my cuttings as well. It helps out a lot with that. Um, so we're going to work on trying to just get one out at a time. I normally just give it a little squish. Then I'll reach in and start to push from the bottom. And that'll normally help me out. But not this time. This time it is not going to help me out. So let's try and squish the bottom a little bit more. And the goal is not to break the roots, but as we can see from what I'm doing here, I probably did not do a great job at that. All right, so let's work on getting this all undone here. I may have let this guy get a little bit too dry. So, this may be a lesson in what not to do. So the good news is, is the roots are not looking too bad on here. All right, so we got this little guy here. Um, I am gonna use wire on this one just to keep it in place for me. So we're gonna just take our little training pot here Run up through a corner, down and out. Up through a corner, down and out. Then if we actually got it in the blades there, it would have just been a quick nip. But I didn't get it in the blades on the first try. So I'm just going to run another one. Up through the corner. Up through the corner. I'm not going to trim that wire because I don't mind that it's going to be a little bit longer. So now we're just going to get a little bit of soil in here. As always, I already put the lava rock in. These pots already have a built-in screen, so... I say a little bit of soil and then you see this giant handful go in. Um, we'll pull out some of these bigger parts of, ch uh, of mulch. Then I'm going to kind of like mound it up in the middle here. I'm going to try to sort out my roots before we drop this down. That way I can figure out what needs to fall where. Now that we're in, we're just going to spread our roots out. Then 
once the roots are spread out. I'm not gonna actually twist this wire around the trunk itself. I'm just gonna more or less create little little U-bends to kind of say, hey, you should grow up straight. But I don't want to pinch the trunk and I don't want to have to repot it for a while, so. We'll just tell it to grow straight. I know it just fell down, but we'll get that all straightened out here in a minute. All right. So these bottom two leaves are really not looking good. We'll just give that a little trim up there. Now I just need to get the soil back underneath here and the roots respread because I messed up the roots when I pulled the wire. Okay, that's looking good. Let's get a little bit more soil in here. Sometimes the uh, sphagnum peat moss is a little bit too clumped up, so I just spread it out a bit. Give this little guy some water. And we've got a nice waterfall coming out the other end, so everything is looking good there. Gonna make sure the soil's going good inside the root system here. All right, now I'm just gonna water the leaves, basically to wash off the dirt that I just accidentally packed onto them. going to go on to the next one. I'll fast track you through this one so that you don't have to watch the thing in slow motion again.
Okay, so there we got it. We got these two little guys repotted here. This one's on a slight slant up this way. This one, I'm hoping the leaves pick back up and go upwards. I'll end up spritzing them with a water can later, just to give the leaves a little extra moisture. Um, and then other than that, I'm just gonna be keeping up with the soil to make sure that it doesn't dry out too much for these guys. They will have humidity trays underneath them as well, so that's gonna help, but that's about it. If you like this video, please like it with a little thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified every time I release a new video, please hit the bell notification button. Thank you.